Day one, <laughs> I've got a real pretty girl in the crate. This is Roxy. Say hi, Roxy. Pretty girl. <laughs> She's way friendlier than she says. Her family is actually heading on up the road, <laughs> dropping her off for her school. For her school <laughs> Day one, baby. <laughs> Y'all wait till you see the progress <laughs> that we're going to make together. <laughs> Roxanne! You don't, oh yeah, you're going to come and love my singing, buddy. Roxanne! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, well this one's actually a standard poodle. Good girl. You being a good girl. Yes, good job. Good job. Here you go. Yep, that's all right. Phone just died. I called it. Now just I've paused the video so we can take in what's happening here for a moment. Right as my phone is dying, Roxy is inside of her crate, and a dog she doesn't know from Adam is here for a private lesson with me. He slips away from his family and runs up to her crate. You can see here he's all up in her grill. He doesn't even know what she's cooking, though. That doesn't even matter because look at her. She's nice, calm, and collected, doesn't bark. I think we both would be able to assume how she would have handled that before with how she was in the crate. Very proud of her, good job. Just tell him place as I... Roxy, come, yes, good girl. Good girl, good job, sweet girl. Let's go, sit, down. Nice job. We'll get those hips to the side. Down. That looks good. Nice and relaxed on command. Like a good Roxy. Good girl. Good job, sweet girl. We just came in from training outside, so she's a little gassed, but this dog has plenty of energy, so as her family will attest. Roxy, come! Yes! Place down. Look at that. Good girl. Good girl. I'll do one more with her. Roxy, come. Yes. Good job, sweet girl. Look how she gives her side. So sweet. Good girl. Roxy, sit. There you go. Nice job. You're not getting tired of me. Let's go. Place. Down. Mmm. Good girl. Uh, 
that's the denim. It stays and wide and it looks really nice. Now let me show you the loose leaf shielding next. This is the relaxed leaf shielding. We're looking for no pulling or sniffing. Just walking nicely next to me. Did I mention she should not be pulling during this time? This is a big one too because like pretty much any dog uh, before starting, she likes to pull a little bit. However, check her out. See how she waits for command to get up? Heel. Good girl. See, good girl. Nice job. Good heel. We put her in park right here. Sit. Up. Forgot to set the e-brake. Down. 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 There we go. Good girl. There we go. Went ahead and put her into a down so she could rest her legs a little bit. And just a challenger. Here I'm picking up the leash. Get walk away. We want her to not get out just because I'm picking up the leash. Because then she's anticipating. And that means she's basically trying to get a step ahead. We don't want that. Good job, sweet Rossi. That's a girl. You like to see her hips relax even more when I pet her instead of her jumping up when I pet her. Good job, sweet girl. All right, this is our last exercise. We're going to let you nap. You ready? Heel. Girl, Roxy. Good girl. Like I said, a nice relaxed leash. She's a, aware of where I am in relation to her position, so she understands that if I stop, she should stop. Good girl. Sit. Very nice. Heel. Good eye contact. But you can see if I turn into her, she'll actually heel it out of the way for me. Good girl. See that? She's not letting me run into her. And then turning away from her, she should follow me like so. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Good girl, Roxy. Nice and done. We'll even slow her down a bit. And she understands that she's supposed to match my speed as well. Coming to a stop. Sit. And we're working on her learning that she's supposed to sit every time I stop as well. Right now, she is understanding that she's supposed to stop. Good girl, Roxy. Okay, let's see. Down. Down. Good girl. We're going to do one more down. No. Down. Down. No. Check this out. Roxy, no. Yes. Sit. This time she fled the scene of the crime. Sit. Now I'm just bringing her back right where she was. Down. And I'm putting her back. There we go. That was her anticipating what's next. She loves going to place. However, I want her to wait until I ask her to go instead of just acting on impulse. That's one of the biggest things is the impulsiveness. We don't want that. Good girl. Same thing. I'm going to work her down again. Heel. Especially now that she has place on the brain. Sit. Down. See, think about going then. Down. Good girl. Good girl. Get the hips over. Down. There we go. A little correction there. Sees a dog out the window. No. Just like that. We're not worried about the dog out the window anymore. Good girl. She's on a 7 out of 100. Heel. So we're using 7% of this e collie's capability. And you and I could have feel that level in her hand. Sit. Good girl. Down. No. Good girl. Heel. 
or just clean up this down. Wanted to do it on the first command. Sit. Down. There we go. If you settle for like having to do it two and three times and you don't make it right and get her to do it on that first time like we did on that last one, the standard just kind of becomes a little gray and then they start going, well, I'll have two or three times. You just want to practice it the way you want it done in real time out in the real world at the store with people, distractions and all that. I don't want that to be the first time. She's like, you want me to down right when you say it? <laughs> Place. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna let her rest. I know she's gas. I'll let y'all watch her fall asleep, actually. I'll move her cot up to you. Let's go. She's like, you said you were gonna let me rest. I am. Get y'all a front row seat here. Place. Down. And I'll even have her facing away from me. I'm gonna be behind her. She knows or uh, she should understand that she's not to turn around this way or readjust her body all the way this way. If I put her in a down facing that way, she should stay facing that way. She can glance and look over here, but she shouldn't turn and worry about me. She should stay facing whatever direction she was put in. If she turned all the way around with her body, I would literally just walk back over there and put her back the way she was facing. See, there's no whining. Really important. She's not whining. She's just relaxed. Mm. Oh, big deep breaths she just did there. Literally let it all just. I'm not feeling that girl. Let it all just hang out. Kind of like after Thanksgiving dinner, you know, you just unbutton your pants and go, woo! 
Man, I'm tired after all that, actually. I'm ready for a nap. And that's what she's, that's what that deep breath was. Thank you all for watching. Please comment any questions you have. Subscribe to my channel. That really helps me continue to grow. My goal is to one day just be on Animal Planet or something. Discovery, I don't know, Netflix. Like, I enjoy watching this process, but I might be a little biased, but I think it's really entertaining. And a lot of people can learn from watching a lot of this. Good girl, good girl. Look at her tuck on the top of her head. She's a sweet girl. She's a sweet girl. Good girl, sweet girl. Okay. You ready? Here's another thing. She would not... Um, go into her crate on command a few of her first days with me. She'd give me a hard time and even try jumping up on top of the crate. So let me show you her going in on command now. Make sure you've got a, a visual here. No, down. Go. Is that it? Yeah, I'm ready to go in my C-R-A-T-E. Brada! How cute she is, look at her ears. <laughs> I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed Roxy's transformation as much as I did. This is only the beginning of course as now her family will take the reins and utilize this foundation to build what will be a great years to come together.